What's up guys? In today's video, I wanna to talk to you about my experiences with four different hosting plans for uh, my websites. Now, I've gone through most of the main ones that people uh, sort of try out in their first couple of years blogging, uh, Bluehost, WPX, Kinsta, and Cloudways. So I'll just walk you through my experiences with different features of them like speed, uh, support, and I'll talk to you a little bit about the affiliate programs as well because I think most people's recommendations really rely upon how lucrative the affiliate programs are, which I don't think is particularly fair. So um, here are the ones I've tried. I started out with Bluehost. Like most people, someone, probably Pat Flynn or someone, uh, talked me into using Bluehost. I used their affiliate link. They got a nice big chunk of money and then I was stuck on Bluehost essentially. Um, and I still have a Bluehost plan because I bought the three-year plan because it was the most... Uh, effective one or the the cheapest one of all uh, per month. Uh, so I'm still kind of stuck on Bluehost. And in fact, some of my websites are still on Bluehost. Uh, then I moved over to Kinstar based on John Dykstra's recommendations. I didn't actually have any problems with Bluehost when I moved over, but I moved over to Kinstar because everyone was talking smack about Bluehost saying they're no good, they're no good. Change before you have any issues. So I moved to Kinstar. Kinsta was awesome. Uh, then I moved to WPX because Kinsta was a little bit too expensive for me. And then more recently, I've moved over to Cloudways, which is sort of one of the most popular ones these days. So let's talk about my experiences with each. First thing that you need to know about Bluehost, the people who recommend Bluehost may have had great experiences with Bluehost, but they may also only be recommending it because of its amazing affiliate program. Uh, so just be, be really cautious about what people say. If people are recommending Bluehost, dig a little bit deeper and see, well, have they actually, are they using it themselves? Have they tested it? Just do your research. Um, one thing that I would recommend if you go with Bluehost is to get the plus plan. So it's this first step up. So it's probably an extra couple of dollars a month, maybe one or two dollars extra per month. Um, but it allows you to use have multiple domains. Uh, when you start on your blogging journey, you'll often only have one domain and think, oh, I'm only gonna have this one website. But before long, your imagination gets the best of you and you just buy more and more and more domains. I think I own somewhere around about 15 domains. You need the plus plan in order to have add-on domains in Bluehost. So I would strongly recommend if you get Bluehost to start with the plus plan. Uh, what I did was, I actually had to go and request to step up from the basic plan to the plus plan. And I'll just skip to that actually, that fourth point about support giving me different um, information in the past. When I called them and said, or texted them on the chat and said, I wanna step up to the plus plan, can you deduct what I've already paid so that I, I don't have to start all over again and I wasted a hundred dollars or whatever. And the support person said, no, you have to pay the whole rate and you just lose that money that you've already spent on the basic plan, even though the basic plan still had maybe 12 months left on it. So I've kind of rolled my eyes and got on with life. And then a week later, I tried again. And the second support agent said, yeah, totally. I can totally do that for you. I'll give you the, the refund. And they sorted it out. So the support was kind of just inconsistent in my experience. And that's just my experience. The other thing about Bluehost is it does have a pretty poor reputation amongst people who you talk to. Um, even though I've never had terrible issues with Bluehost, you can talk to people who say, you know, the support's not been very useful for me or um, it, my sites went down. You know, th there are enough of my friends have had bad experiences with Bluehost that I'm a little bit wary of them, even though I personally haven't. Um, and the last thing is it is shared hosting. So you're sharing a server with a bunch of other people, uh, which can kind of give you the bad neighborhood effect apparently in, you know, if Google, if you're on the same server as some, you know, casino websites or something, people say that maybe that'll have an effect on your rankings of your site. I don't know. I don't think that there's evidence of that or I haven't seen evidence of that. Okay, so I stepped up to Kinsta. I stepped up to Kinsta when my website had, I was getting about 100,000 page views a month and I was still on basic Bluehost. And people were saying, that's terrible. Like you're probably losing so much speed, so on and so forth. So I thought, okay, I'll step up to Kinsta. I'll try something new out. So I stepped up to Kinsta and it was really nice. Um, the dashboard is amazing. Uh, it's a private server. So you're not sharing the server with anyone. So you're not in a bad neighborhood. 
the customer service was sensational. You would send them a text, a message on the chat, they'll get back to you straight away. The customer service representatives had the, the technical skills to solve your problems right there and then on the spot. Uh, they, they were really knowledgeable. Uh, what you're getting in exchange for this really white glove service is that it's expensive. It's a $30 baseline price for, they say, 20,000 page views. I stick stuck with the base, the $30 baseline price up to like 130 or 40,000 page views. Potentially that may be because I was using uh, Azoic na name servers. So Azoic was carrying a bit of the burden as well. So I didn't go over my limits. Okay, and then I moved over to WPX when finally Kinsta, Kinsta messaged me and said, you're gonna have to step up from the $30 plan because you are starting to sort of exceed your limits. So I had did some research and I saw the Matthew Woodward review. And the Matthew Woodward review uh, is something that's really popular in our space. Basically, Matthew Woodward did a really detailed study of a whole bunch of different plans. And he said, WPX is the best. And I think he said Kinsta was the second best. So I looked at WPX and even though it was shared hosting, not private hosting, so it was a little bit of a step down, uh, he said, look, it works really well. It's fast, as fast as, if not faster than Kinsta, and it'll save you money. So I stepped over to shared hosting with WPX. Uh, it cost me $25 per month, and I could put five domains on it, whereas with Kinsta, I could only put one domain. So I moved five of my domains directly straight to WPX, 25 bucks a month, uh, unlimited amount of page views, really happy with it. A couple of little downsides. First one is often, because I've put five domains on it now, I did come up across a SSL certificate issue. The SSL certificates just weren't working the way that they work on any other hosting plan. And I, I don't know why this was the case, but I had to get in touch with support several times and they made me download plugins and install plugins to make sure the SSL certificate was working. Of course, plugins add extra bloat to the plan. WPX also comes with one of the caching, premium caching plugins free for you so that you can do some additional caching, which was really nice. And to be honest, I didn't really notice any difference switching from Kinsta to WPX in terms of speed or performance. WPX's support is also quite good, maybe a little bit slower than Kinsta in my experience, but uh, nothing terrible. You know, I was perfectly happy with WPX the whole time I've been with them and I still do have five domains on WPX. So then I moved to Cloudways. Now the reason I moved to Cloudways is I still had several of my domains back on Bluehost because Bluehost has unlimited domains. You can put as many domains as you want if you've got the plus plan. I already used all, up all of my five spots with WPX. So I just put all my new sites on Bluehost. I was having some indexing issues as you know, people who follow my website know I, I have absolute nightmares for the past six to 12 months indexing my new sites. And I thought it was part of my stack. I thought maybe Bluehost might've been part of the problem with that. Um, so I thought, okay, I'm gonna solve this problem or at least say, make sure that Bluehost isn't a reason. And I don't know, I don't even think the Bluehost was the reason, I'm not sure, but I just wanted to eliminate that possibility. So I moved over to Cloudways. People say Cloudways is, is fast. And, uh, but you know, I never acted on it. And then when I actually moved over to Cloudways, it is sensationally fast. Uh, to the extent where when I moved to WPX and Kinsta, barely noticed any speed differences. There might've been some speed differences if you put them through tools like GT Metrics or um, Google Page Speed Insights. But when you're on Cloudways, you can actually feel it's fast. Uh, on the back end of, of, the, of WordPress, if you click, you know, add new post, you might not notice, but click add new post if you're on WPX or uh, Bluehost or something like that. You click add new post and there's a little bit of a delay and then it slowly sort of loads. With Cloudways, it is almost instantaneous. You click a button and things appear straight away. When you load the page, things really do appear uh, quicker to the extent that it's noticeable to the human user. Um, it's not just some tool telling you which one's faster. To me, it feels as if Cloudways is incredibly quick. So they use a uh, virtual private server. So essentially or virtually you are on a private server, not shared hosting. I think that's a little bit of trickery there in terms of the cloud creating it, making it into a private server, but on the back end, it's not, I'm not sure. 
Um, but it's nice to have it as a VPS and not the, the whole shared hosting. Another really awesome thing about them is you can have as many domains as you want on it. Uh, but once you reach certain bandwidth limits, they will ask you to increase the amount of money that you give them per month. Um, the payments, oh, yeah, there are a few little small issues. So the payment system is was kind of confusing. It might have been my fault. But when um, I moved over to Cloudways, I'd migrated everything within the three days that you have of the trial. And I expected to, it just to step me up after the trial and take money out of my account. But instead of it stepping me up, it just said trial's over. Um, and, and I didn't, I, maybe I missed an email, but I didn't get any warnings about it. And all of a sudden my sites were down for about 24 hours. And the reason I've realized that my sites were down was I was clicking, trying to force index the articles in Google and Google was giving me these red signs being like, hey, you, your sites don't exist. We can't find them. Um, so that was a little bit of a downside. It might've been my fault. The other thing was a migration issue. I migrated all of the sites over. It said migration is complete. I did the what's my DNS search. It said that my DNSs had all been, IP addresses and everything had been switched over. So everything said that it was fine and everything had migrated. So I started writing blog posts. I uploaded 15 blog posts to one of the sites that day, went to bed, woke up the next morning. All of that work of those 15 blog posts completely disappeared. I contacted Cloudways support. They're pretty good. It took a little, it said I was in a queue for a couple of minutes and then it gave me a, a, a support person the support person looked into it and said we have no idea what happened i can't help you uh so i lost a day so if, if you migrate it make sure you just wait 24 hours before actually working on the site to make sure none of those issues happen so you can see there are a couple of sort of issues that i had moving over to cloudbase but at the same time i'm really happy with the fact that i moved over to cloudbase because they are super super fast Okay, I just, I'll just break it down by a couple of factors. So starting with speed, in my subjective opinion, Cloudways seems to be the fastest, visibly really, really quick. Kinston, WPX, that were kind of tied in my opinion. They both, neither of them were as fast as Cloudways for me, but they, they did the job. Bluehost, a little bit of lag, but if you're brand new, you probably won't even have that much of an issue. You won't be too upset by it. Multiple domains. So how many domains can you put on the basic plans? So Cloudways, you can put as many as you want onto the server. They call them applications and you kind of put them underneath the server. Um, and they, they aren't add-on domains. So with Bluehost, you can have one primary domain and then a bunch of add-on domains. So for example, my primary domain might be nichesafari.com. And if I started a new website called Paddleboard Passion, I would have paddleboardpassion.nichesafari.com. And that second add-on domain would, uh, if you... Googled it, it would say paddleboardpassion.com, but it is actually uh, a subdomain underneath Safari, uh, which was weird. Uh, it seems to me as if, uh, so Cloudways doesn't really give you those add-on domains. It just gives you a couple of different domains. That's sort of what it seems to me. So you can have as many domains as you want on Cloudways. Kinstar, you can only have one domain on the base $30 plan, which was a big downside for me. WPX, you can have five domains on the $25 plan you run out of five domains really quickly. Like as everyone who's been in this game for long enough knows, you end up with a ton of domains and websites. Uh, but it's still pretty good. Five domains for 25 bucks isn't too bad. And Bluehost, if you have the plus plan, you can have unlimited parked or add-on domains, uh, but make sure you get the plus plan for that. Okay, support. In my opinion, just on my experiences, Kinsta support, absolutely amazing. WPX support, pretty good. Cloudway support, also pretty good. And then I put Bluehost down the bottom there. As I said, I've had one or two small issues, but nothing significant with them. But I have got friends who've had some big problems with Bluehost support. So uh, I would put them last in my sort of subjective opinion. Okay, pricing. Bluehost is obviously the cheapest. It can be as low as $5 per month. But when it renews, it does renew at a higher price. So I'd be really cautious about that. So a lot, of, a lot of people, probably most people do, is they'll start with something like SiteGround or Bluehost, which is around about five bucks a month, give or take. And then after their trial, their first year, which is sort of the year where you get cheap hosting, uh, they'll switch over to something better like WPX or Cloudbase, which is what I did, what most people do. I don't have a problem with people doing that. That's, you know, it's fine. So WPX was about $25 per month. Something I do like about WPX is they do have a transparent flat price upon renewal. I would say WPX is probably one of the most popular uh, hosts for people who have affiliate websites. Uh, so they've got a really good reputation in our space. 
Uh, Kinstar starts at $30 per month. It is a white glove service, so it's going to be a lot more expensive. And that's just the start. They'll ask you to step up before long to, I think the next step up is $60 per month. So Cloudways. People who are Cloudways affiliates will tell you that you can get it for $11 or $13 per month, depending on whether you go with uh, DigitalOcean or Viper as their sort of their backup host. I don't know what to call that. Uh, but don't fall for that. <laughs> It'll be around about $25, $26 a month because once you click get started and you choose your plan if you click on that bottom plan it'll say to you hey as a blogger you're going to run out of space instantly we strongly recommend you step up to the next plan up which is the, like 25 or 26 dollars uh, so in real in, in reality realistically you're probably going to be spending about 25 bucks a month on cloudways which is comparable to wpx but remember you can put as many domains as you want on cloudways so long as you don't exceed your bandwidth and again, Cloudways does have a transparent flat price upon renewal, which I really appreciate. Okay, affiliate programs. The reason I'm telling you this is because I think that you need a transparent uh, sort of explanation of why are people flogging certain hosts? And really, the truth is a lot of people are flogging certain hosts because the affiliate programs pay out really, really well. So Bluehost, $65 per referral, as far as I can tell. That's a lot of money for one referral. I mean, if you're an Amazon affiliate, for example, you sell a $500 product at 3%, you're making 15 bucks on that product. Whereas Bluehost, all you have to do is refer one person to Bluehost, you make 65 bucks per referral. That's really nice. WPX, $70 per referral. I think that's the case. Everyone I've referred in the past, I've ended up with 70 bucks in my pocket. So um, 70 bucks per referral for WPX, again, really good. Um, but at the same time, I also think WPX is a really good host. So um, I'm, you know, don't have a problem with people referring people to WPX or Bluehost for that matter, as long as they're honest with you. Kinstar, 50 bucks per referral plus 10% monthly recurring revenue. So for example, if you refer someone to Kinstar, they take up the $30 plan. You're going to make $50 plus $3 per month in perpetuity, which sounds really nice. And then Cloudways is 20 bucks per referral. So it's the lowest referral rate of the four. But having said that, uh, I would still recommend Cloudways um, just based upon my experience. Bluehost, I would probably, if I was starting again, I'd probably just skip it because I would just jump straight to Cloudways. But then again, you know, I, I remember not having much money and thinking it was a big investment to put $5 a month into hosting. So I can understand why people go with Bluehost. WPX, uh, my final verdict on them, I've been really happy with them, but the shared hosting plus SSL certificate issues were some small downsides. But at the same time, I'm really glad that I tried them out and I'm, I think that they're, they're good people over there at WPX. Kinstar, they had amazing support and dashboard. They're a an amazing service. If you have just unlimited amounts of cash on hand, I would recommend Kinstar. Really, really good quality. Cloudways, unbelievably fast. The fastest host that I've ever experienced. They run on a virtual private server. They're about around about mid-priced. For the speed that you're getting, they're the best value. So what I would recommend, if you're willing to spend the money or you want to step up from your basic uh, site ground, Bluehost sort of hosting, I would recommend Cloudways. For me, it has been really uh, just un incredibly fast, visibly fast. If you're running on the smell of an oily rag, which I, I get, that's an Australian saying, I think. It means if you've got no money at all and you're just trying to get by, uh, I wouldn't be against Bluehost or even SiteGround or some basic host like that. And then as soon as you have the money, as soon as you feel as if it's in your budget, I would recommend stepping up to Cloudways. You will feel the speed improvement really quickly. Okay, so that brings us to the end of my experiences with those four hosting plans. As I said, that's just 100% my subjective experience, but I think people starting out or thinking of changing hosts would like to hear someone's personal experience with each of those different hosts. So hopefully that has been useful to you if you're thinking of changing hosts. And uh, yeah, if you're just here for the first time, like and subscribe and I put out new content every week uh, on different issues to do with uh, building websites.